Bangkok, Thailand CNN tensions eased in Thailand on Tuesday as police took down barricades in the capital and allowed anti-government demonstrators to enter the compounds of government buildings. The Thai government said it had negotiated a truce with protesters for the next several days to honor the birthday of the country's deeply revered king. But the leader of the protests said the fight against Prime Minister Ye Lok Shina Watram and her exiled brother would continue. Lieutenant General Parade Path Amathabut of the National Security Council said that thousands of protesters were allowed to enter the compound of government house, the headquarters of Ye Lok's administration and key target of demonstrations in recent days. Police also took down barriers in front of their metropolitan office Tuesday morning and allowed anti-government demonstrators to walk toward the building. Parade said Tuesday that the government and protesters had mutually agreed to back down for the sake of our great father, our king, the world's longest-serving monarch. King Budmibal Abul Udebj of Thailand turns 86 on Thursday. But Su Thik Thog Subban, who has led the demonstrations against Yi Lok's government in pockets of central Bangkok in recent weeks, said the campaign wasn't over. Our King The world's longest-serving monarch, King Budmibal Abul Udebj of Thailand turns 86 on Thursday. But Su Thik Thog Subban, who has led the demonstrations against Yi Lok's government in pockets of central Bangkok in recent weeks, said the campaign wasn't over. We will continue fighting until Thaksin's regime is definitively wiped out, he said, referring to Thaksin Shina Watram, the exiled former prime minister and brother of Yi Lok who is considered to retain considerable influence in Thailand calmer atmosphere under the direction of Suthik, the former deputy prime minister for the opposition Democrat Party. Protesters have occupied various official buildings over the past 10 days. The situation remained mostly peaceful until Saturday, when clashes between protesters and government supporters left three people dead and dozens wounded. The worst civil unrest in Thailand since scores died amid the military crackdown on demonstrations in 2010. In the current crisis, confrontations between police and protesters also hardened over the weekend, despite repeated government promises that authorities wouldn't use violence. Tear gas canisters and rocks were flung back and forth across the barricades. On Monday, Police said they used rubber bullets in some instances. Suthik had declared late Monday that some demonstrators would head for Bangkok's Metropolitan Police Bureau and seize this police office for the people of Thailand. He made the comments after being told he faces an arrest warrant.